welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, you guys, I have my December favorites. I thought about doing a 2020 favorites, but you know, your girl ain't got that good of a memory to be like, okay, what was I really, really, really loving in 2020? I don't know. Maybe I'll still do it. I don't know. But for right now, these are, these are the items that I was loving in December. So let's go ahead and just get into that because your girl ain't got much time. I got like five minutes to film this. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and get this out the way. So Karina actually got this for me for Blessings Month, and I love this palette. The glitters, the glitters in here are good. Like every, you guys know, like this is, oh, by the way, this was a Profusion um, holiday collection palette. Now, anyways, you guys already know, like Profusion has a bomb powder products. So I already knew that I was going to love this palette, but I love it even more because you have like your pops of color as well as like up here, you have your warms and your neutrals. And then like, this is your all in one palette. So, like if I was a person who traveled, like this is what I would grab. Got any color eyeshadow look I want, got my blush, my bronzers and my highlighters and like this is all you got to take and then like your foundation concealer and like setting powders but that is why i really really love this very blendable very pigmented these eyeshadows are amazing i'll have to use it again on camera but i did you know just in case any of you got it let me know do y'all have this palette i'll check to see if it's still available and i'll let you guys know but do y'all have this palette do y'all want to see me create more looks with this palette i don't know how many times can i say palette in this sentence anyways really really love this if it's still available get it like just try it i mean i think it's like 25 bucks and i mean you literally get almost a full face of makeup in here minus your cream product okay so the next thing is actually more of a brand that i love and then i just discovered like i've been following her on instagram for a while but i finally bit the bullet and i was like let me just buy some products and try it and you guys like i loved every single product i've bought from her so this is actually sugared cosmetics and she everything on her website is based off of like treats and things like that and so my okay i have okay Okay, like literally all of these products were a favorite in December that I discovered. So I have her lip oil, which I put on every single morning and I love it. I even wear it throughout the day. I have a mini one in my purse that I keep in there. I absolutely love their lip oils. Nourishing, like especially after you do it with her lip scrub, which I love. Like I don't think, if you guys know, then you know, like I have been struggling to find like the perfect lip scrub. Well, this one, gets all the dead skin off. One day I went a little bit ham and had my lips raw. That's my fault, not her fault. That was my fault, that was user hey, error. But anyways, I love this lip scrub because it really is so good. And then you go in with the oil afterwards and it is just amazing. Like highly recommend these two products as well as her lashes. But her lashes do retail for $10.99. Each time I bought my lashes, I bought them when they were on sale. Each time I bought my lashes, I bought them when they were on sale, but regular price is $10.99. So they're a little bit pricey. These two products over here are a little bit more affordable. So if you wanna try something out from the brand and you just don't have like that much money to try, I recommend her lip oil and her lip scrub. But her lashes, my, my favorite style is the style Snap. But, um, no, it's Spice. I love the style Spice. Yes, so Spice is actually my favorite pair. And I don't know, they're just wispy, they're beautiful. I've worn them, like they're just so pretty. And then I also bought the style Snack, which is a little bit more toned down than Spice. But yes, I love her lashes. They stay on, they're not uncomfortable. The band is easy to work with. They're easy to apply and they're just overall beautiful and fluffy. So these are actually like the most expensive lashes I loan at $10.99 per pair. But like I said, I bought them on sale anyway. So yeah, super good. Okay, so the next thing that I fell back in love with and I had bought this because I asked you guys like, what are some products that you're loving and drugstore products? And Leela here on YouTube was like, you know what girl, like my all time favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation. And I was like, you know what? I did used to love that and I never repurchased it when I ran out, but I repurchased it again. And your girl fell back in love. It's buildable, but it's lightweight and it can be super full coverage or like, natural-ish medium medium at the least coverage but 
Again, anything with SPF in it, I just don't like the scent. Same goes with this one, but I can get past it because this one fades throughout the day. Now there are some that I've tried where they don't fade throughout the day and I just cannot get past that scent. This one, however, I can because like I said, the scent will fade throughout the day and it's just an overall good long wearing foundation that's very full coverage, but it's very lightweight on the skin and it doesn't break me out or anything like that. So I really do love this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. So I started a new everyday makeup routine and I'm like, you know what, like, let me just try it out because I need something fast when I'm in a hurry. And this is what I have on my face today. Obviously I have like blush, bronzer, highlight, but like all of my base products like this is what I have. And that is the Juvia's Place Concealer and I use that for underneath my eyes and spot concealing. And then over top of it, I go in with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder in light. Light is actually medium, heads up. <coughs> light is actually medium so if you are lighter than me do not buy light so i have the shade light for the powder so i go in i spot, spot conceal with this blend it out with my current favorite brush of the month which is the elf flawless Yay. concealer brush it's not too dense but it's not too flimsy it's like the perfect amount and blends it out beautifully no creases love this brush so i'll say about it but it is a favorite for december but yeah so then i blend that out with the brush and then i do go in just with the sponge that this is and I apply this all over my face and like this is the coverage that you get you guys like this is the coverage that you get like it's so good it's so pretty it, it truly does make your face look poreless and then I'll take the lighter one of this which is fair and I'll just go under my eyes to add a little bit of that highlighting effect because this concealer is too dark for me so it doesn't highlight it literally just conceals but this is my foundation shade in a concealer. It literally just conceals. So I do take the lighter clean fresh powder and I use that as a brightener. And I absolutely love my everyday makeup routine. I will post it soon. But yeah, absolutely loving those products. And then one that I discovered was actually one that I tried out in my full face of first impressions. And I can't remember if I talked about these last time. But just in case I didn't, I am loving the e.l.f. Bite Size Blush Duo or Face Duos. You guys, if you like it, like this is perfect. Like this looks like it would be too light for me. No, 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 no. It actually applies perfectly. I am actually wearing the shade White Peach today. These highlighters are beautiful. The blushes are pigmented, blendable, and the highlighters are really good for more natural days because they're not too intense. But these were actually my favorites. They last all day long. Okay, so the last couple of things. So because I've been using a powder foundation, I really like something to set, and then I use powder bronzer, powder blush, powder highlight. I, ha I lean more dry, so I don't want my skin looking too dry, but I also, like, I don't need it to last forever. I just need it to get me through the day. So one thing that I've been loving to take that powdery look away is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This just, oh my gosh, like, Oh my gosh, like I just can't get over the way that this makes my makeup look every day that I use it. It adds like a slight dewiness to my skin as well as like melts the powders into the skin. And my makeup does last pretty well throughout the day. Like I'm, it lasts all day. So this is really, really good. It doesn't claim to make your makeup last longer, but I feel like it does help. So yeah, this is really, really good. I catch mine whenever it's on sale. So don't ever buy this full price tech. Check Morphe's website and check Ulta because this is always on sale. So don't ever buy it full price. And then my last favorite, and you guys, this is like, y'all are going to be like, no, she didn't just mention a high-end thing. That's her favorite. Because who is she? Who am I to like something high-end? And, like, who even told me to buy this? Like, why did I buy this? But I'm glad I did. Anyways, this is the Velour Lash Adhesive. This, re this, this lash glue. This lash glue is $12. For lash glue. Who is she? Bougie. But anyways... This really does last, like, I love this lash glue. You don't have to wait as long as you have to with most lash glues, like, blow on it, wait like a minute, then apply your lash. Like, you can give this, like, 10 seconds, pop on your lash, and I love that for every day. Like, I use it with my thin lashes, like these Kiss Zero One lashes, which are actually a favorite. Love the Kiss Zero One lashes for my everyday makeup look. I'll insert a picture on the screen. They're just light, fluffy, and as you can see, they're more dramatic lash extension type of lash but they look super natural but super long and pretty love these lashes but anyways back to the glue this lash glue 
really sticks. I have cried with this lash glue on and lashes haven't popped off. And I think in one of my vlogs, I took my lashes off and you guys could see like, it was on there, but if you apply them just right, they won't rip out your eyelashes. So I really do recommend this lash glue. If you wanna spend the $12 and you have a problem with it, like lifting or like some white, some clear lash glues dry white, this one doesn't. Really, really, really recommend that lash glue. But all right, you guys, that is actually it for today's video. Those are all of my favorites. Just comment down below, what were you loving in the month of December? And let me know if you want me to really try to remember and rewind back through the year and see like, what was I really loving? all of 2020 and if you like beauty and lifestyle and if you would like a video on that so always remember you guys that i love you guys but jesus loves you more if you haven't already please 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 go ahead and give me a thumbs up also if you ever could so kindly hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.